What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counter Punch Boxing News, and I have some new news. Some more news concerning Jared Big Baby Anderson. Get this. Jared Anderson arrested yet again in Michigan after a high speed chase. Jared Anderson, 24 years old, was arrested Thursday in Michigan shortly after leading police on a series of high speed chases. Officials said Anderson, a heavyweight from Toledo, Ohio, reached speeds of 130 and fled from police on three separate occasions, starting at about 1.36 p.m. before crashing his Dodge Challenger into a median on southbound 1275, or should I say I-275, according to the Huron Township Department of Public Safety report. Anderson was arraigned by Wayne County. Third Circuit County Saturday posted a $10,000 personal bond and was ordered not to drive regardless of his license status unless traveling to and from his court dates. If convicted, Anderson could receive a charge up to five years in prison, a $1,000 fine, and one year driver's license suspension. His next appearance date will be on March 13th at the 34th District Court in Romulus, Michigan. Anderson was arrested last November in Oregon, Ohio, for operating a vehicle while impaired and improperly handling firearms in a motor vehicle. The impairment charges were dropped from the November arrest. Hmm. Okay, so from November to March, right? Or late February. Four months later, you're back in the clink. You're back in trouble. You're doing this, you're doing that. Um, I can't help people but to go back to the meltdown, the breakdown, the quote unquote cry for help with uh, Roy Jones. Okay. You ask what's wrong with Jared Anderson. I tell you a guy that's that's tempted by street life. You know, the stuff that he's doing, that's street shit that he's doing. High speed chases and you know, and all this type of stuff, you know, obviously he had to be running from someone, you know, and they had to catch him doing something that he didn't even have any uh, business doing in the first place. I don't know the particulars, but you don't run 130 miles an hour trying to get away from police. And another thing, what we see and hear about police from time to time, you know, you run from them, you're liable to get shot. The last thing we want to see Jared Anderson do is get shot by a police officer that either had a bad day or has a has a you know um excessive mentality okay so we don't really need that and you know and i just think that the things that he said that he was running from in ohio i think is following him and it's his mentality the same things you do at one place you're going to do somewhere else he did it in oregon now he's in michigan you know what i mean so um I think that Jared Anderson really needs guidance, okay? And because it seems like this is a meltdown and the whole idea of him retiring at 27 years of age doesn't look likely. It doesn't really look likely that he'll keep fighting the way he's doing. I know he's going to have to fight now, but to take care of all these fines, I don't think they're going to throw him away. But if he keeps getting into trouble, that looks like it's going to be headed because a lot of times judges see that and they make an example out of you. They say, you know what? Give him some time. Give him 60 days. Give him six months. Give him three months. Let him cool off. You know, and I think Jared Anderson, um, your mentality has to change. You know, I mean, he, he's just, you know, this is becoming too regular. You know, and I like his fighting, but what he does outside the ring could affect exactly what happens or his possibilities or potential inside the ring, you know, and him saying, Hey, I'm 23. I want to see and want to do. Yeah. He just wants to get into some shit. You know, he has a, he has a desire for street life activity, you know, and obviously, and sometimes that mostly clashes with the, with, with the offices of the law. 
you know. Um, what does it mean for his career? I'm not really sure. Um, I hope he can get out of this one, but then what's the point if you keep getting into trouble? You know, because a lot of times boxing separates you or keeps you away from that type of shit. You know, when you're running here, you're running there. You know, um, the only thing is what's crazy about this situation is he hasn't been with other people. Normally, like if you're running with the wrong crowd, you're like, OK, you're running with the wrong crowd. But it's like, you know, he's just looked like he's the sole uh, guy. You know, you know what I mean? So I, I don't I don't really know what yet to say to him. It just doesn't look good. You know, um, you going from state to state, getting in trouble, you know, running from the police and all this, that and the other. You know, I, I don't I don't really know how to grasp that. But I can tell you for all the big babies, it doesn't look good for them. You know, they're, they're, they're getting into trouble They're You know, I think they really need guidance. And I think Jared Anderson needs someone to help him. Maybe he needs to hang around Roy Jones. Maybe he needs to go to Florida, stay away from Mary Esther and, 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 and Fort Walton Beach and stay the hell out of Miami. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, hang out with him and, you know, because he, he definitely needs guidance and someone to definitely mentor him because I don't think he has that or I don't think he has enough of that. But you guys tell me what you think of Big Baby Anderson yet again arrested in a high-speed chase. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys been counterpunched. Peace!